Hello, hello, and welcome back to Peyton's Flowers. We are a flower and gift shop here in Gander, Newfoundland. We also carry a lot of craft supplies and wreath supplies, wreath making supplies, and we also sell finished wreaths here in the store. Most all of you know that, but welcome to any newcomers that pop by today. Welcome, welcome. Today we are going to do another Valentine's Day wreath. This one is an extra large heart that says welcome. Here we are in pink, black, and white. And it is quite large. Let me just measure this for you. It is 22 inches long. Can't get it. Oh, it's different now. 22 inches long and 15 inches across. So it's quite large. Beautiful. I only have one of these. So this is going to be on this wreath for sale once it's completed. <clears throat> so I already went ahead and stapled on my pipe cleaners where I needed them because I was scared it was going to pop through the front and if that happens, I would have rather cried off camera than on camera. Hi everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Channel? Not a channel yet. We're not a channel. Welcome to Facebook. Eventually we are going to have a YouTube channel. We've got lots of upcoming things planned for the future, especially with outdoor things, with growing in the greenhouse, cut flowers for sale. All of those things are going to be fantastic on the YouTube channel. I have to order myself a new video camera. Anybody know anything about that? Please let me know. We're looking into the Mevo. Is that what it's called, Jeffrey? Yep. Mevo. So if anybody has any experience with that, please let me know. I'm going to look into that. All right. Continuing on. There's a few people here now. Hi, everyone. Hi. So, we're going to attach this to our wreath. That's the first thing we're going to do. Well, this is where I want it, over here. So, that's, so I held it up earlier and put little marks here where I wanted to tie it onto the side. So, I'm going to put it like right there. So, take that down and do it on the table here. You can move the camera for us, Jeffrey. So we're literally just tying the pipe cleaner around the back. Give it a few good twists there and then tuck those ends in because you don't want that scratching anyone's door. And the same thing over here. I'm just going to move my phone out of the way. And the same thing on the bottom. You can come on in, Jen. There we go. It's quiet here today. We have been so busy this week that our cooler is pretty much empty behind me. So it doesn't have to be on. So we turned it off. That's why you hear a lot less noise than we normally hear. Um, can I have another brown pipe cleaner there, Jeffrey, please? And I use brown pipe cleaners because of the grapevine wreath, so it's just less noticeable. Not that anybody ever sees it, but just in case. So I'm just gonna see where that needs to go. And we're gonna go right here. I'm gonna just give that some good twists. Can you see? Yep. Twist, twist, twist. All right. So there you can see. Now we have a door hanger as well this way. 
So this is what you hang your door. Some people just hang the wreath itself on the hook. We use a th uh, 3M command hook on our front door because we have glass. So it has to go on that and it can't go on a wreath hook over the door. So I just try to weave it into the grapevine as much as possible, but I always put a hanger there for the people who want to use it. All right. <laughs> there we go. We're back up. A little bit shaky. Whoa, whoa shaky, shaky. All right. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna start by greening, basic greening. I'm gonna use some regular green Ruscus and some variegated ivy. I also have some eucalyptus, a couple of different types of eucalyptus. This is silver dollar eucalyptus. This is regular baby eucalyptus. I'm gonna use those, that's four. And I have some dried flowers, beautiful dried flowers, botanicals. I'm gonna try using these. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out yet. I have some beautiful pink spray roses. And some 6091, 6091. That new greenery that I ordered from the States that I'm liking so far. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. I'm going to start by greening. This is our new bolt cutters. I told you about last time on the video. Uh, love them, love them, love them. They cut so easily. It's unreal. When you do as much wire cutting as I do, it tends to really hurt your hands after a while. So these... Anything that makes the job easier is better. Easy, easy peasy. So quiet here without the... It's creepy, Jen says it's creepy. It is so quiet here. Like something's wrong, what's going on? Something's wrong. The cooler's never off. Here we go. Happy New Year to everyone. But especially for those who didn't see my last video and I didn't get to say hi to you already. Happy New Year. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. Some, a little bit of family time. A little bit of couch rest like Jeffrey and I had. We came down with some sort of cold. It wasn't COVID. We tested four or five times and it wasn't COVID. But we were still sick enough to stay on the couch for a couple of days. So we just worked from the couch instead of working indoors. However, we did get to go outdoors on New Year's Day because the weather cooperated just enough to let us dig some soil that had been delivered to us just before the snow came. And then it all froze in. We didn't have time to do all the things we needed to do. So I had 650 tulips purchased that I didn't get to put in the ground because the snow came way too soon. Well, it was actually late, but because it was late, none of us were expecting it. We just expected it to stay nice forever, I think. And then the snow came and we didn't get the tulips in. So New Year's Day was nice enough that we could actually break through the frost in the top layer of the soil and we got the tulips planted in our new greenhouse in some fish pans, which wasn't the plan at all, but uh, it's gonna work. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have 650 tulips or close to that amount, fingers crossed, for Mother's Day, hopefully. Hopefully they'll, they'll bloom by Mother's Day, we'll see. We also ordered, oh my goodness gracious, we were so a little bit disappointed 
we thought we missed out on the ranunculus and the anemone time but yesterday we got an email from the supplier saying they were opening for just a couple of days until they sold out and we caught it right in time so we ordered 500 anemones and uh, ranunculus bulbs or corms I should say corms to be planted in the greenhouse in early early spring so we'll have some ranunculus and anem anemone blooms really early in the spring as well that's exciting and their dahlias are coming out so that's going to be another fun order we love dahlias we planted a lot of dahlias this past year and it was quite successful and then when I dug them and I prepped them to store them, apparently I didn't pay quite enough attention and I did something wrong and they went moldy. So they, some of them may still be good, but it's risky. So we don't know. So we're going to order some new dahlias for sure, for sure. I can't really see any comments. What's everybody saying, Jeffrey? I don't see any comments. Oh, I saw some comments, or maybe it's just people here. I think it's people here. Madeline Green said, Happy New Year to you both also. Happy New Year to you, Madeline. All right, some of this uh, variegated ivy. We're going to mix that in. We also have variegated ficus on the way. That's going to be a really nice greenery that I haven't had here before. So that's going to be fun. I mentioned yesterday that we were going to try to get all of our Christmas trees down yesterday. Well, we did get all the decor down and packed. Oh, this way. Down and packed. And Jeffrey got that all packed away today upstairs, so that was a great accomplishment. However, the trees, the now naked trees, are still in the store. So that has to get done, maybe today. However, today I have an appointment and all sorts of other things, so maybe not today. All right, guys, we're going to use the bow baker again. Um, we did this yesterday and I actually really loved how it turned out. So I don't know that it's going to become a regular for me, but for today, I'm going to use it again. Let's give it a go. All right, Jeffrey, if you want to lower that camera for me. So this is one of the things that we're hoping to solve with the new Nemo, no, Mevo, Mevo system. Hopefully, uh, we won't have to manually move the camera around like that, that can be done on its own. This is a beautiful RG ribbon sold here in the store. It's $4.99 a yard. It's beautiful four inch ribbon. Uh, it's black and white damask with some glitter. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. So we're gonna start our base with that. All right, start with your tails, which are about, <laughs> I can't get fit it all on there. Okay, here we go. Uh, I think that's about 12, 13 inches. So we're going to start with that. Going to give that a nice pinch. And down through your bow maker. And that's your first tail. Then twist it so the back of your ribbon is facing up. Just like yesterday, we're going to go about an inch past this mini bow maker. I need to get a larger one and pinch that ribbon in again. Just like that. So I don't know if you can see, but it's about an inch. Yeah, or an inch or a little bit more of an inch than an inch past the wood. All right, twist. And the same thing on this side. And pinch that right in the middle. You, when you're pinching, you want to do so, so that both of your 
wire edges are on the side so you don't want that folded over in the back because you'll get a pleat that's not really that nice there we go and just like that we have one layer it's cool i think i like it i'm not really sure still because like i said yesterday it does take a long time but it does give you a good product, so. Not everything needs to be done quickly. All right. Now we're just going to use a lot of value burlap in this bow. I love value burlap. It's a great price and it's a great product. So this is fuchsia to match the side. <clears throat> And so you're gonna go about an inch shorter than your last loop. So there we go. Once you get past that four inch ribbon, then all the other ribbons are much easier to use. Or maybe it's just because I'm used to all the other sizes. This is two and a half inch. It's very easy for me, but it's also what I'm used to using as well. Um, I think we'll do Black next. Black inch and a half. Again, value burlap. I'm just going to go about a half an inch shorter than that fuchsia one. There we go. And your tail. This is another fantastic ribbon that we carry here in the store. It's RG as well. Ooh, very shiny, can't see. There you go, RG ribbon. Black with white polka dot, and it's got a little bit of sparkle to it as well. We're gonna use that. Twist. pressing so hard that the dowels are opening up. So I don't know if that's because it's a cheaper quality bow maker, because I really didn't pay much for this. I think it was like $30, but really it's just a piece of wood and some dowels. Um, so I don't know if there's a better quality one out there or if I'm doing something wrong. We don't really know. Or maybe we should make them ourselves. We do have lots of time. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to top that off with one loop of white in the middle. Just like that. Actually, no, I'm going to do two loops. Like that. And then I have some inch and a half fuchsia to match that large fuchsia that I'm just going to do one loop in the middle just like that now as I'm doing this I'm realizing that I'd like to have some tails in there however I don't want it really behind that four inch ribbon so maybe I would just like it on top of that four inch ribbon. Okay, I'm gonna use these three tails. I'm going to lift up all of this and just slip that down in there. So this is something that we're learning about the bow maker. It is very user friendly. You can correct things and go back. Things don't fall apart if you're using good quality ribbon like that. And our bow is done. So, as always, we're going to put our longer zip tie across the back and tie it with a shorter one. So we're gonna take that right off of our bow maker, like that. Put the longer zip tie across there. And we're gonna tie it 
with a shorter zip tie. And there we go. Cut that off. And here's our bow. Tails. Now you can see what I was saying more. I didn't want the tails to be behind this four inch ribbon, but I didn't want it to be coming out of the top either. So I just lifted that up there and put that right in there. And we'll cut our dovetails. Just like that. How's everyone doing? Hi. There we go. Where are you too, Jeffrey? You can just get this camera back up for me. I'm ready to go back to our wreath. Oh, bounce, bounce. Bouncer, bouncer, bouncer. Yeah, we're just attaching this right on here with our zip tie, like always. And there we go. Look at that. Looks fantastic, I believe. There we go. Now we're going to see what we can add here. Add some eucalyptus. Is and some hearts. All right. Let's start with this one. Six zero nine one nine. The ever so popular green that all the designers use, or floral spray, I should say, not green. Do I think I'll be supplying it? I'm going to try, but honestly, I had to buy this from a different designer. So I don't even know who wholesales it or who supplies it. Um, I certainly couldn't supply it through another supplier because it's just way too expensive to resell. Just gonna twist these oh, wires. They're like tweaks. But we're gonna try, we're gonna look into it. I do like it enough to give it a go. Let's see. We're gonna use the whole thing top and bottom, I think. Sometimes I like to use the whole pick. Sometimes I like to break it up. Today we're gonna to use the whole thing. Oh, you unplugged my glue. Ooh. We unplugged the Google because she likes to uh, talk at a turn sometimes. <laughs> and uh, unplug the glue at the same time. The bow is gorgeous, thank you, thank you. You love the green foliage? Yes, I love a lot of green as well. Hi, Kathy. Hi, everyone. All right, so that's gonna take me a few minutes, so I'm just going to open up the second one. get that ready as well. 
There it is. So fluff that up nicely. And curl those twigs. Let's separate them there. All right. With my handy dandy bolt cutters. Look how easy this is. Pop. Done. Everything is. Uh, uh. Jeffrey finally figured out how to flip the camera. So now you're actually seeing the wreath properly. This is the, the way that it actually looks in live, in real life. Whereas everything you saw before, things were opposite. So, but when I'm moving things, I have to move the opposite way. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get into this glue. Yes, I can dig in around the sides there. All right. So as you can see, that is the benefit of using a whole pick without cutting it up because it's like, bam, it's done. It's pretty much done just like that. Or for most people. For us, we're probably going to add more, but it could be done. Rethinking can stop at any point. You don't have to use a ton of product and spend a lot of money. You can stop at any point. For us here in the flower shop, we are making over the top, extra special, extra beautiful wreaths for those who are looking for them. Because if you want something simpler, most people make that themselves or go to some at home hobbyists, which do a great job. I'm not saying that I do a better job, but when you want something really special and over the top, you come to a place like this in a flower shop. And there's your find it. Okay, look at these sparkly hearts. Ooh, so cute. Love it. I'm gonna use a couple of those. Cut them down. Oh my gosh, so cute. Maybe one more. Yeah, I'm not even gonna cut that one. I'm just gonna leave the long stem. Get it right into that grapevine so that glue has somewhere to really take hold. Oh, I gotta get out of the way. It's nice. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot so far. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna try some of this silver dollar eucalyptus. Jeffrey and I just finished completing our fresh floral order for Valentine's Day. Wow, we <laughs> have a lot of fresh flowers coming for Valentine's Day. Get your orders in. Make sure that special person in your life gets some beautiful flowers. I never got flowers. I always wanted flowers. As you know, I love flowers. I always wanted flowers. Never got flowers, but I stuck around. Jeffrey and I have been together for 25 years. We had an anniversary just before Christmas without flowers. So imagine how long you can be together with flowers. 
No comment. No comment from Jeffrey. And Jenna's laughing at me up at the front of the store. I don't get flowers either. She doesn't get flowers either. She buys them for herself. She's like me. Now I don't want flowers anymore. Now I want ribbon all the time. I just want ribbon. Buy ribbon. Buy me ribbon. Isn't that what I gave you for your birthday? That is not what you bought for me for my birthday. That is kind of what I talked you into buying me for my birthday. But when we went to pay for it, you didn't have your credit card, so I had to pay for it myself. Oh, yes, I <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Hi, Yvonne. Roxanne, Ruth. Ruth got flowers. Yes, she did, Ruth. You got a good band there, Ruth. Hi, hi, everyone. All right, I like that little bit of um, silver dollar eucalyptus. I think this is a little too long right here. I'm not really fond of that there, so I'm just going to cut it off. Again, that's another great thing about wreath making. Nothing is ever set in stone. You put something in, you don't like it, you can just change it. There we go. All right, shall I try the pink spray roses or the dried botanical roses? I think we'll go with the spray roses. I'm gonna try these. These are not wired, so I actually don't need to use the wire cutters. Maybe that one. Do, do, do. All right. Let's just keep going and going. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So you guys, once again, we will be doing a workshop on a Valentine's Day wreath sometime real soon. We're just waiting for the product to come in. It's coming from the States, Kentucky, I believe it's coming from. So as soon as that gets here, it's been over a week, so it should be close to here for sure. Um, I can finally get that all added up and find out the price for you guys and then set a date that works for everybody on the list hopefully and we are going to get that class up and going it's gonna be fantastic the sign is so cute I did post it on our Facebook so you can see it's a truck sign with uh, hearts and I don't can't remember what it says but it's fantastic and the ribbons come with it you're going to get full roll full 10 yard rolls of ribbon with your kit so it's going to be fantastic you'll have extra ribbon to bring home with you for any projects that you want to do at home or just for your ribbon collection that everybody i know is going to start collecting <laughs> it's going to be our new habit y'all we're going to start collecting ribbon we have about 15 people interested in the course. If anybody else wants to be notified personally, we can send them a private invite. Just say, let me know in the comments. There you go. I hope you could hear that from Jeffrey. We have about 15 people so far. So I'm, uh, I don't think we can do 15 people. So even though we have interest from 15 people, that doesn't mean 15 people will be on board. But if we do have 15 people and more than 15 people, maybe we can do it twice and do two classes. I certainly have enough product coming that I can handle that for sure, but we just don't have the room here in the store to, to hold 15 people. So maybe we would do eight and eight or 10 and 10 if we were lucky enough to get 20 people. And guys, one of the best things about the Valentine's Day class is because it's our first class, I will have the upcoming classes, the wreaths already pre-made, 
to show you so you'll see exactly what's coming up for spring and summer. Uh, we'll probably have two ready for you. Um, and if you enroll in the Valentine's Day one, you will get a discount on the next ones. So it's fantastic. It's going to work for everyone. So exciting. Uh, I had m multiple people ask me about the bicycle wheels that you see on some people's front door. We have them coming. We have them coming in a couple of colors. So one of those is going to be in a kit as well that we're going to do a workshop for. How about this? I think it's fantastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. Do we see anything that it needs more of? So this is one thing about wreath making. Another thing I should say about wreath making is anybody, I always say you can stop whenever you want, but when you get to the end, just go over your work and see if there's any holes, see if there's any spots that need to be filled. So right now I'm seeing that I could use a little bit more of that dark fuchsia color. So I'm just going to add another spray of this beautiful spray, spray rose. So like see right here, it needs a little bit colors really dark right there. So we're going to fill that right in there. Brighten that right up. Just like that. And down here as well. I did my last winter wreath this morning for a client and now all the other winter stuff is getting all packed away because it is now in this industry it is now spring spring is here all right I feel like I've been on here for a long time today I don't know if that's because it's so quiet here so I'm gonna just rush through this final bit here I'm gonna use some of this plastic eucalyptus that I always use it's the same one I used yesterday and I'm just gonna slide them right off of the pick all together so I have individual pieces that I just want to fill in the bowl with a little bit just that little bit of greenery in the bowl makes those ribbon colors pop so much more. Just a little bit. All right, folks, there we go. We are completed. Another Valentine's Day wreath available here at Peyton's. Uh, tomorrow we have a really really busy day we're getting a, a ton of fresh flowers in and we have a ton of orders already there ready to go so I probably won't be on here tomorrow uh, and hopefully by the next time I get on here I'm hiding. where's Jeffrey oh he's hiding he's hiding behind the computer it is quiet here today I know um, anyway by the next time I see you, uh, I will hopefully, fingers crossed, all of the kits will be here for the Valentine's Day kit. So I can show you that live and you can see what is ready for you and uh, we'll have the price and the date for you. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye.